First, a massive police operation is underway in Bayswater as police close in on two juvenile escapees. Amelia Brune joins us live now and Amelia, what can you tell us? Good evening, Arelda. Yes, I'm here in Bayswater where it is in lockdown as police try to locate the two teens who escaped from the Bankshire Hill Detention Centre yesterday morning. They've now been on the run for some 30 hours. Now, police were called here just before 3 o'clock this afternoon after reports of a carjacking at a car yard. Police immediately set up an exclusion zone, locking down streets. The police helicopter has also been searching every single street. Now, as of yet, police Police haven't located the escapees, but they've told me that they do believe one of the men is injured. Now, Peter Gartlett and Christopher Meredith escaped from the Bankshire Hill Detention Centre about 10.30 yesterday morning after one of them threw a brick at a construction worker. They then stole his car, rammed a roller door and escaped from the prison. Now, the chaos continued just a few kilometres away as the stolen car went through a red light, ploughing into a car that was being driven by a woman. Now, the escape has has sparked criticism from the opposition about security at the prison. They say the government knew the risks. I'm aware that they were aware of it because I stood next to the minister when he was told about the security risk posed by this construction site. An absolute joke. An absolute disgrace. I'm not aware of any uh, overall security issue, but there will be a full review of that situation. So. So just repeat, repeating, Bayswater is tonight in lockdown as police still continue their search for these two escapees. They obviously feel like they're pretty close to catching them at this point. I'll bring you any developments later in the bulletin. It's back to you. Thanks, Amelia Brune there in Bayswater.